This is Twit. It's time for the Surface Laptop 3. We've got a 15-inch model, not just the what normal 13-inch. Mm -hmm. uh, some AMD processors and a pretty... Now I can finally make the joke about peeling off the fabric. We've got a, a metal, <laughs> what is it, an aluminum yeah. finish uh, chassis. Oh. <laughs> is it not? Is we, don't it not? Use the, we don't use the aluminum word here, but... Uh, uh, okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, what it now? This comes nice. in multiple colors too, which I think is kind of mm -hmm. yeah. Know, that's fun. <laughs> this one's this one's confusing. This happens to be my personal favorite uh, of the. In fact, I was just thinking when you were doing the ad, you know, Mary Jo and I. I haven't really added it up, but I, I think we split down the line. Uh, if you were to name, you know, I'm really happy about this one thing, and she's like, "eh, it's not that big of a deal," and then she's oh. like, "oh, I really think this is great." And I'm like, "eh, that's not really." It. It's funny. Um, <laughs> Because, you know, Mary Jo, I don't believe, thinks uh, much of Surface Laptop. But um, I uh, obviously when you come out with something that looks exactly like a MacBook Air um, 10 years later, you have to differentiate it in some way. And um, well, actually, no, you don't. A lot of PC makers didn't. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, Microsoft decided they would try to differentiate it. So the Alcantara thing was, depending on your opinion and experience, either the greatest thing that has ever happened to laptops <laughs> or... A huge mistake. I want to meet um, that person that says it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to laptops. Some, well, you know what? So the interesting thing is I have two of them, right? So I have both generations of Surface Laptop. The older one, which I've used more than the newer one, I've never had any issues with the Alcantara. The, the newer one, uh, which I've used less than the older one, has a huge smudge. Like, it, it's like I'm the greasiest ape that has ever graced the earth. Like, a, you know, so, I mean, I, I didn't, didn't purposely rub Cheetos into it. I don't know how this happened, but um, mm. so I, I don't know. I've heard a lot of complaints from people. The other issue, of course, with Surface Laptop was serviceability. So mm. to get into the internals of the device, uh, by the way, I learned something yesterday, Mary Jo, uh, that when they were talking mm. about the screws and everything, you know, the yeah. reason that um, PC makers have gone with these uh, non-serviceable devices is to make them mm -hmm. thinner because mm -hmm. just to, it, mm -hmm. like to make it so you can open it with a tool, yeah. you actually have to have screws, which means mm -hmm. you have to have room for screws to screw into something, which means yeah. it has to be a certain thickness. And that's right. why they, that's why these things like Apple devices and, and not the surface devices are built the way they're built. And so this time around, they were like, look, you know, we, we have to offer some ways to get into this thing. So they built screws into the feet in this case. Um, yeah. And then to not not to have to destroy the device to take off the carpet thing, um, and so it's it's a little different this time around. Um, so I I mean I looked at that 15 inch thing and I what I see there is a more affordable MacBook Pro with a real good keyboard and running Windows, which I prefer. And I to me like this is the most excellent laptop I've ever seen. Mm. To Mary Jo, I'm guessing not so much. Yeah, Mary Jo, <laughs> tell us tell um, us your feels. So you know what. Surf, so I think Surface Laptop looks pretty, but mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's the best laptop out there. It's just a nice laptop. Like I when when I heard Microsoft just was going to make a clamshell a laptop, nice laptop, I got excited, right? Because I'm like, yeah. this is going to be the ultimate, most amazing laptop for Windows users on the market, and it's not. It's not. Well, <laughs> I, okay. I mean, I it's I think an it okay might be laptop. Now. It's an okay let me, laptop. Let me, let me sell it. Let me let me sell it to you. It has 200% more ports than before. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How many did they have before, Paul? One. Yeah. Now they have two. Yep. <laughs> so, well, three right. if you count the Surface Connect port. But, um, but do we count the Surface Connect port, Paul? No, do we? we don't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. No, uh, we you don't. You know what? I, I, first of all, perfect typing experience, perfect trackpad. Yeah, 20% larger. Screen. Let's not forget that trackpad. Yeah. So that yeah. I, I kind of like that in theory, the the much bigger trackpad. Um, yeah. But then I also worry, uh, like, is it really going to get in my way? I don't know. Here's what here's my here's what I would like you to do. I mean, and I mean this seriously. Um, Mary yeah. Jo doesn't really review a lot of laptops or anything really. I've done a couple. Um, right, Just but, that but Cortana when they speaker, come to that's you, like the only thing you review. <laughs> right, right. You know, <laughs> you should you should review this device. Yeah, you really should. I should. I think it might. I think it might win you over because. For whatever technical uh, complaints people have made over the years, including myself, I mean, I've been a big mm -hmm. complainer about the lack of Thunderbolt 3 on, on Surface computers. Mm -hmm. The thing is, there, there's this special something about them that makes them special, I guess. Um, yeah, 
So and it remember, is that combination of the keyboard. Oh, can we pause for a second? Because that was a very <laughs> touching moment from Paul, which I don't think happens all that often. There's something very <laughs> special about this device that is just special. That was good. I, I felt yeah. no, there was some it's, warmth it's, there. You felt the love. Yeah, well, I felt actually, the love. No, but, that, but, no, but I, okay, you may be onto something. And, and the reason I say that is oftentimes with tech reviews or technical products when you're talking about them, it's this sum of specs and, and mm -hmm. you know, features and things. And it is a more emotional than practical thing in some ways. Although, again, like I think the typing experience is perfect. I think the touchpad is to date uh, the ones I've had have been perfect. I think the screen they have is perfect. Um, those things all come together and there is a sense of this sum being bigger than the total. I don't know how these phrases work anyway. <laughs> yeah. There's, there is, it's, there's something special. It's hard to, it's hard for me to explain. I'm, I try to be a little more so, logical usually, but. So what, what was the surface laptop I got and I brought to Amsterdam? Was that the two or the fir first? You surface brought, laptop? it was the first surface laptop. That's right. right. But it was running in S mode. And you remember at the time you were like, I'm yeah. going to try to do this just in S mode. Yeah. So the S mode part didn't matter at all. The hardware for me, it, it was just scratched. like any old laptop and it scratched. Can right? we say, so, just like pretend that there might be someone out there who might not know what S mode is. Don't know who that person is, but could you yeah. tell that you know, person yeah, yeah, what S mode is? There's a cocktail. Yeah. There's a cocktail called S, S mode. <laughs> just, right, yeah. So it's a bitter, bitter stew. Um, Microsoft has, God, how do we, we only have two hours. I know, um, so, I know. <laughs> so, no, this is, well, okay. But uh, Microsoft, look, Microsoft has this legacy operating system called Windows and it's this spaghetti nonsense. It's, you know, it's legacy software. They've been trying to get past it forever and they can't because everyone wants to run those apps, Photoshop and Office and right. all the stuff they've been running since the 90s. And um, they have the ability to make a more modern, streamlined, light, battery, you know, friendly operating system. It's just that nobody wants the new thing. They want Windows, you know. And so they've tried over the years various schemes to make a more modern version of Windows. And so Windows RT was the first attempt with Windows 8. It was a ARM-based solution that didn't run desktop apps and it failed. And then more recently, they've tried S mode, uh, Windows 10 S at first and then S mode. It's a, it's a mode of Windows 10 where you, it does not allow you to download or install desktop applications from the web. You can only run what comes on it or store apps. It's, right. It's a limited, it's limited because you can only use store apps. And that's, yeah. that is, why is that good? No, it's terrible. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's, <laughs> no, well, the no, reason you know it's what? good if is you're... because store apps, <laughs> uh, well, respect the system security. <laughs> They are reliable over the long term. The system doesn't right. degrade performance-wise oh, over time. So it's sort of mimicking right. what words, Apple does with the Mac App Store, but it just it, well, is locked actually down to they, that. It's the other way around. But oh. yes, um, actually, Microsoft did it first with okay. the store, but it doesn't. But yes. Well, sorry. So, I don't need those no, emails. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. No. Um, the point is, yeah, no, I mean, uh, Apple has the same problem Microsoft does with the Mac, right? And so they, they approach it their way. My, Microsoft has tried two different ways. So... Um, uh, I would say ARM is another example of this, right? So ARM, same thing. It's like Windows Desktop, but it, it doesn't run some of the apps. You know, it's a little strange. Um, and, you know, we'll see. We'll see where it takes us. Well, Windows uh, Windows 10X is another version of this. It runs Windows uh, Desktop yeah. applications and containers. And there's another way we'll to kind of we'll respect the legacy more. past. We'll get to that. Anyway. Yeah. So S-Mode, anyway. when, it, when it first Stop. came out, the Surface Laptop first came out, Mary Jo got the laptop. Brought it to Amsterdam. Yep. She hated it because she doesn't like pretty things that the work well. And <laughs> no, <laughs> doesn't like dark I, mode. Doesn't like. No, no, no. So the truth is, I thought it was fine. I thought I had used many laptops that were better. There was nothing to distinguish oh. it at all. Nothing. It was nice. It you was know, a laptop. It had a fuzzy cover, which I kind of hated, but like you know, you can I was snuggle like, yeah. it. You can't snuggle well, actually, What's the snuggability very, factor? So um, most surface devices are made out of magnesium and the night and they, they don't color them in any way. So the nice thing about magnesium is that if you scratch it, it's like polycarbonate the, um, in the, in that the material is through and through. So if you scratch it and it's a gray color, you don't scratch down the silver. It's, it's gray inside. Mm -hmm. So there's a scratch, but it's hidden a little bit. Um, surface laptop has always been made out of aluminum. And so like other aluminum laptops that are colored, of course, it's basically painting. They call it anodizing or whatever, but right. they paint a color onto it. And when you scratch that, what you scratch down to is silver and it looks mm -hmm. terrible. Right. It's like when you get in a car accident or something. Um, they don't do Mary that Jones, anymore, though, do they? Yeah, they do. 
<laughs> so, but they're not, they're, it's a better process now. So yeah. the one that she got, the first one, it was really, it got really scratched up and it was just from her putting it in her bag. Like she didn't. Well, so she that's what we think anyway. I mean, it sounds like yeah. she didn't like it very much. So she may have missed. She's like, it's it. not as good as other laptops. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know what? So at, no, I, at the event, okay. let, let me, let me say something about surface design at the event. Uh, um, I got to hold the 15 inch surface laptop three and I wanted to see if it was lappable, right? Like that was the first thing I was like, let me see. Finally, if they make, are they making a lappable well, system? It's a finally? Of course it's <laughs> well. Yeah. Oh, well, surface laptop has not been lappable up till now for me. It has wow. not, it's not, it was not properly weighted or something. And I'm like, it doesn't oh. really work. So, so I put this, I put the AMD base surface laptop three on my lap. And the first thing I noticed is it was so slippery and I looked on the bottom and I'm like, it's perfectly smooth. That's not what a laptop should be. A laptop should have something to grab you so that it doesn't fall off your legs. So I feel like Microsoft makes trade-offs to make things beautiful, but they don't make them practical. So they didn't put any grippies That's, on the bottom? No. no. Okay. Nope. The, well, they have, well, they don't have feet. I mean, there's rubber feet. Okay. Yeah, but it didn't really hold it. Well, that's, all that, your, that's all that this laptop has. It's just four rubber feet on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, like, oh, the, oh, by the I, way, I of course it is, because it. where do you think they got the design from? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get to type well, well, on it, and but I didn't get to type on it, but I felt like it was it was at least properly weighted, which is a first. Yeah. That's good. I think like, they they're said getting that was stage right? that that was important, that the the weighting yeah. was, was taken in consideration. I, yeah, up till I now, think. everything they've made has been pr and improperly weighted, in my view, and I blame the touch um, screens for that because they make things very top heavy. Now, Paul, you look like you're getting frustrated. What's going on? No, this is what I was saying earlier. I mean, I, I this is like I've just described the most beautiful woman in the world, and she's like, she's a hag. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't you know, know if it's that bad. It's more like you describe the most beautiful in the person in the world, and then she's like, mm, nose is kind of off. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. I don't think it's properly weighted. <laughs> like, well, I, 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 <laughs> I mean, from my perspective, I. I well, well, this is, I mean, this is uh, subjective. I mean, it is totally subjective. I, I, Mary Jo obviously has something wrong with her lap. I don't know. It's a weird thing to discuss, <laughs> but, but I think, no, I mean, look, a different machine for every person for sure. Right. I mean, yes. I, uh, yep. did there you are lap PC the makers that, sorry, did you lap the 13 or the 15? Sorry to interrupt. 15. Paul. Okay. 15. Maybe the 13 yep. would be better. Yeah. I think you, based on the machines you've been, you, you would be better off with a 13 for sure. And yeah, I, I don't think like you should. Inch. I don't. Yeah. 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 Big. No, you should, you should seriously think about reviewing this. I'm, I'm, I'm really joining giving that, it a shot. that camp that's saying, I want to see Mary Jo review this. So okay. yeah, I think I, now you have I, I, I mean it. I, I, yeah. and, and look, you may come out and say, look, it's, it is very good. It's not what I want. It's not as good as some of the other ones I've used. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, I, but yeah. I, 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 no, I should give it another like try. Said, this is something I about it. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to, I'm going to ask to review it uh, lately. I've not been getting any surfaces to review because they know I don't like the top, the hardware. So they won't give them the, give them to me to review. So, well, I, I think your review is more valuable than most, honestly, because you will be totally objective about it. Mm. Whereas I am already in love with it and I don't care how bad it is. I'm going to give it a good, <laughs> never do that. but, um, no, but I, I, I've always wanted a 15 inch. Yeah. Uh, I know you want a 15 laptop. inch, right? I yeah, the, the surface, the 15 inch surface book is too big. This is a huge, thick, heavy, it's a portable workstation. It's, I don't need something that yep. uh, hefty, you know? Yep. So uh, this is to me is like, oh my God, they finally did it. They did that thing I've been asking for. Because other PC makers, HP does 15 inch versions of some of their Spectre X360, for example, but not really on the business side. And it's the same problem. They're, I, I do like the screen real estate, but it's they're just too big, heavy, hard to carry. You know, does he walk around like we did yesterday? You get a, I get a backpack on my shoulder yeah. and it's, you yeah. know, digging a notch into me because, <laughs> you know, yeah. I brought this four pound monstrosity with me. Yeah. So anyway, well, I think this thing is awesome. I, it lo I thought it was awesome too. I was looking at it and going, oh, okay. Do How often do I appear on Windows Weekly? Does it justify? Uh, <laughs> uh, yep. No, it's very Getting pretty. Getting some review I, hardware? Here's yeah. a clue. I think it does. Think yeah. It does.